This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the CEO of COSA Resources, Mr. Keith Bodnarchuk. Keith, it's great to have you back on. It's been a bit. We chatted a bit off air. The uranium consolidation, though still very, very robust 90-ish uh, spot price, it, it's taken a little bit longer and the equities, I think, um, are starting to bore some of the people in the space we talked about. That tends to be when the opportunity exists. And in the case of COSA, you've had so many news releases here over the last couple of months. You've been busy. So I thought it a great, great time to have you back on and uh, see what the company and you and the team have been up to. Yeah, no, thanks. First off, thanks for having me back on, Gerardo. It's great to be here. And yes, you know, we have been busy, um, obviously, with our first uh, drill program at URSA. Um, first inaugural drill program really is the company. And, you know, for first pass drilling into a new area, we were extremely excited by the results that, that we intersected. And it's really set us up for a summer program here. We'll have lots of news flow and we'll be drilling following up those initial results at our URSA project. And so we're, we're in great shape heading into the summer here. You're cashed up. You have a, a pretty extensive uh, set of, of, of items to check off here for the summertime. Can you speak to exactly what you'll be doing with that six and a half million dollars that came into the till? Yeah, for sure. So, uh, yeah, as you mentioned, we did bring in six and a half million dollars here in in March, and that's really going to fund us through the entirety of 2024 and beyond. I mentioned that we did have good first pass drilling at Ursa. And so what we've done now is we, we're deploying ANT over that area, which is a passive seismic uh, geophysical survey that's really been introduced into the Athabasca Basin over the past you know, year or so. And what it's able to do is map uh, really these big alteration halos that you're looking for that are associated with these uranium deposits. So we're going to apply the ANT survey. And that's going to introduce another layer that's going to help us follow up these initial targets. So this year we're doing AMT on URSA, which will finish here um, within the next month. And then we will be drilling here this summer, um, following up those initial results. And importantly, we always like to have that pipeline of projects and pipeline of targets. And so we'll also be generating drill ready targets on our Orion projects and our Aurora projects, which will be ready to go for 2025. But the main focus is URSA. Um, those initial results are great where we hit what we feel is a potential alteration halo. Um, which are often associated with these these large uranium deposits. So as I mentioned, you know, we are a team that has seen a lot of these deposits in the past, and we're, we're extremely excited by what we intersected in the winter, um, in, in really in March and April, and we're going to look to follow up on that here in the next few months. You know, it's interesting to me, and you highlighted in the release that, you know, with Aurora and Orbit, it's, you know, within 25 kilometers of the Key Lake Mill, and yet it's seen very little to no modern exploration. Why Why do you think that is? You know, I think it's just what the model was at the time, right, when people were exploring uh, in, in, in the basin. And I think you've seen as companies, you know, especially junior companies have been able to have success in the basin over the past 20 years, people aren't necessarily following that conventional model. When when we were at ISO Energy and the team hit the hurricane deposit, people thought that that geological domain in that area couldn't host um, economic deposits. And, you know, hurricane really changed the narrative in that area. And, you know, you've seen other groups have success on the edge of the basin. So, you know, this it's kind of a different deposit model we'd be going for in that area, but it's, it's one that, like you said, is it's so well located. Um, it's it's cost-effective drilling in that area. It's very shallow shallow targeting. And it's one we're very excited about because it's wide open as far as it goes for expiration upside. And so that is why we are making sure that we do have drill ready targets um, for 2025. Well, you have a ton of catalysts in the pipeline. I'm excited to see what, you know, your, your accomplished team is able to do here over the summer and looking forward to having you back on. Thanks again for taking the time to come on. Yeah, thanks, Gerardo. Always, always great to be here. All right, Keith. Chat soon. Hey everybody, Gerardo Del Real here. If you're enjoying the content that you just saw, you can let us know in three simple steps. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and please share across your network and on social media. Take care everybody.